Hello and welcome back to another episode of MHub Inside. Uh, today we're going to be talking about another shop project, um, a little upgrade to this machine behind me, which is our Boss uh, 3655. Um, this is one of the heaviest used machines in the building. If you can draw a line on a computer, you can lose a laser cutter. There's a little bit more to that, but in general, this is one of the first tools that we point people towards when they're learning, just for prototyping, because everything is so rapid and so quick, and materials are fairly cheap in general. Um, so we have a couple of other laser uh, cutters in the building. You can see that there's a couple of universal lasers as well, but this is our largest size bed. Um, and the upgrade that we've done is a little bit of positive air pressure around the mirror system so that less dust and particulate will uh, collect and degrade the lasers. Those lasers in general are more expensive because they have some of those features built into them already. Uh, and for you know some 3D printing dollars uh, and a couple of holes and a little bit of uh, valving, uh, we've added that system, so hopefully the longevity of lenses, of mirrors, all that kind of stuff will uh, go on. So let me show you some of the things that we're going to, uh, or I guess I'll show you what it is on that machine and I'll show you what it looks like over here. So if you follow me over here. So you can see this is a lot smaller of a machine, meaning it needs a lot less draw to get all the particulate out. Um, the area above the, the laser head, there's a little bit of a positive pressure coming out of that hole. So any particulate that's being thrown around here while things are engraving or cutting um, is not allowed to go into that area. And then at the mirror under this little cover as well, um, this whole thing, I can put my finger right here and I feel a little bit of positive pressure coming out. And the same thing with this port where the, the lens is, be, or the mirror is behind that as well. Um, and it's not to say that the boss is any less well built, um, but it is such a larger machine that it would need so much more air draw volume. And as you can see, all of these machines are shared off of the same vacuum system. So maybe all three of them are being used, plus welding and a couple other things. If all of those gates are open, the vacuum is gonna be just a little bit less to get that particulate and that dust out of the air. So this is just gonna help to make sure that. Um, so if we come, the first thing that I did is I added a little bit of a, or added a tap to the head um, just uh, beneath the mirror so it's gonna keep a positive pressure and it's the same air that uh, is used for the air assist on the nozzle. And then over on mirror number two, you can see I have it currently detached, um, is this mirror, or is this uh, air pressure jig right here, which just snaps right over the cover and allows for positive air pressure uh, to shoot on both sides. So now there's no more dust or particulate that's landing on that lens. The energy of the beam coming through sometimes makes that cook into the, the mirror a little bit. And they're fairly expensive, you know, somewhere between 50 and 90, depending on who you're buying them from. So it's a lot of cost savings and a lot better for the members. So they're not wasting material finding out, oh, my settings weren't perfect. It didn't kind of the first time, things along like that. So follow me while I install all this and you can see what everything looks like. Um, thank you.
All right, so you've seen how I've installed this. You saw there was a little bit of a, a thing putting the, um, the mirror number two cover on. Uh, this isn't 100%. We realized that 3D printing some stuff. Um, there'll be a V2 and you'll possibly see a follow-up video, but uh, files for this will probably be made available. We're gonna add some diffusers and a couple other things like that. We'll do an update video specifically showing you the differences between as we test uh, things. Maybe we add a diffuser on the inside of this as well. Um, but if there's anything you would like to see, please let us know down in the comments. Please hit that like, uh, subscribe, and notification icon. It really helps with that algorithm. Until next time, thank you for joining M Hub Inside.